Hey guys, I'm Corey. Welcome to another episode of Zipper Tubing TV. All right, guys, so what we've done here is we've actually uh, set up a little EMI demo for you. Inside this special box, we've got something very neat. This is actually a custom built EMI shielded box to show you uh, the signal uh, with the door open and with the door closed. Right here, we actually have a signal analyzer and it shows the two frequencies that we're monitoring on the inside of the box. Inside of the box is our 5G router, and right here, we can actually see what those signals look like. Now, if we take a look at the graph here, we can see um, they're rated somewhere on the negative 40. What we're gonna go ahead and do is open the door and we're gonna see that signal strength increase quite a bit. Now, it does take a minute for the Wi-Fi analyzer to catch up, but you can already see here um, the increase on the actual right-hand side of the screen. When you talk about attenuation or how much you're actually knocking out EMI, it's rated on a scale of decibels, uh, but it's not a linear scale. Every three decibels knocks it down by 50%. So if we go from three decibels to six decibels, we've gone and we've cut it in half. If we add another three decibels and go up to nine decibels of attenuation, we've cut that remaining balance in half. So if we started at 100% signal and then we got three decibels of attenuation, it would now be at 50% of its original value. When we go to six decibels, we go to 25%. When we go to nine decibels, we go to 12, so on and so forth. So you can see that 10 decibels of attenuation is near 10% of the original value. Most of our materials are somewhere between 60 and 100. So essentially what's gonna be left is just kind of parts per million um, when it comes down to it. Yeah. 